Michael, our subscriber, had a really good question about EDS and POTS. The question is, does everybody that has EDS also have POTS? Quick, short answer from my experience is no. We see people across the board that have different levels of EDS that actually do great in life. People that are Olympic level athletes, college level athletes, even pros that go, I noticed that I was bendy, but it never seemed to affect me. I obviously live this great life. So what's the difference? We also find that there are people that have EDS that have POTS. The symptoms can be debilitating. Okay, so one of the things I think is important is that you have to know how EDS is affecting you specifically. Meaning, it might be something silly, like you're a little bit more bendy than you should be, and that causes you to have an arterial compression that affects your circulation. But maybe by strengthening that area, being able to offload that tissue, you may be able to completely resolve those symptoms. We see that all the time. But you can't know for sure without knowing exactly how it affects you. It's important to make sure that you're not assuming that because you read somebody else that's having a bad experience, that you also must have a bad experience. Do your own digging, figure out your body, your life, and see if there's a compelling future out there for you. I'd love to know what you think about it. I know this can make a lot of people a little bit squirmy, but if this is something you're going through and you're interested in doing more, feeling better, feeling stronger, I think there might be opportunity out there for most of you.